Good morning. Hi everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. Let me just uh, make sure that volume is set up correctly. I don't know if my voice sounds too loud or too quiet. I've been noticing that I think my volume's a bit, like, uh, unintentionally adjusted. Like, before I streamed today, because last night I noticed that it sounded a bit quieter than usual, so I turned it up a tiny bit. So hopefully it'll be the sweet spot that I'm looking for, where I'm not too loud, but not too quiet. But yeah, um, Pokemon Presents happens in about five minutes. I was thinking about doing a game after this, but I am not going to. So, part of the reason I'm not going to be playing a game after this is because I will be streaming later tonight. I'm going to be doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, because apparently that releases at midnight my time, which is like about 10 hours from now, so yeah. And I may stream a game before that as well, like maybe like a couple hours beforehand. So yeah, that's going to be my plan for the day. So I don't know what to expect from this Pokemon Presents. Obviously Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we're going to see... We're going to see more information on that. We might see some Pokemon spin-offs, I'm not really sure what to expect. If I wanted anything, uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Like, we haven't had a new Mystery Dungeon in quite a while. I mean, we had, you know, the Rescue... Red Red, Red and Blue Rescue Team, whatever it was called, but that was a remake of an old game. That wasn't a brand new entry, if you think about it, so... I feel like we're kind of due for a new entry to in that series. Other than that, I don't know. Um, what kind of Pokemon spin-offs have they not done in a while? Like, we got Snap last year, but um, I don't know. Is Pokemon Park any good? I've never played those ones. Like, Pokemon Park and Pokemon Park 2 on Wii. You know, maybe I should look into those sometime. Maybe those would be fun to play. Oh yeah, this will be a YouTube premiere, by the way, this thing right here. So, you know what that means? In three minutes, we're not going to be watching this. In three minutes, we're going to be watching the countdown that goes on for another two minutes, and then it starts. Fun stuff. Here's the funny thing, so on... On the official Pokemon YouTube channel, they've got like one for the US, and then they have one for the UK, like what's the difference? Like it's still going to be in English, and I think all the release dates are going to still be the same, so that's kind of, of a weird one. I did mention it last night when I played um, when I when I played Pokemon Legends Arceus last night. I kind of threw out a really dumb idea, like a new Pokemon Stadium, just like something where it's like you know, straight to the point, and like you had like a rental system, so you could like you know, use whatever Pokemon you wanted. I don't know. I, th I think that I think that would be kind of fun to have one of those. Like the Wii did kind of try to do a Pokemon Stadium three so sort of thing, but it kind of sucked because the rental system in that game was absolute garbage, where it was like, okay, instead of, like, renting any Pokemon you want, we're just gonna let you own, like, presets, which makes the game much more frustrating to play if you never had, like, Diamond and Pearl, which I did not back in the day, so, yeah. <laughs> like, Pokemon Revolution, or, I think that's what that was called? Pokemon Battle Revolution was not that good because of that. Like, the rental system or lack thereof is what kind of ruined that game for me, so yeah. You know, I never played Pokemon Stadium 2, maybe I'll check that out someday. But yeah, I'd be down for like a, a new Pokemon Stadium game, maybe with like a very simple like story mode thing. You know what would be a really interesting return spin-off? Pokemon trading card game. 
I've never played that either, but I know that the Game Boy Color game has like a cult following. And I've heard some of the soundtrack in that game, like the music in that game is great. Right, so we're apparently one minute away. Well, three minutes away. We still have the two minute like premiere thing, but yeah. Pokemon Presents will begin shortly. Pokey Park are fun games. You own the first and second games. That's cool. I'd always be down for checking the Pokey Park games. I don't know how long they are. Maybe like 10 to 15 hours or something. Like relatively short games. Right, well, the premiere should be starting any moment now. Just uh, waiting for it to appear, so yeah. So I hope everyone's doing good today. I can't think of much else to say. Oh jeez. I always forget how fucking loud that thing is. I am going to do that instead. Actually, no, I am not. It's muted? Yeah, I don't want to listen to the premiere thing. I'm going to unmute it when I'm ready. I really don't like the, the YouTube premiere music. It's kind of annoying, in my opinion. Right, okay, I think we're... I'll turn it on now just so that I don't, you know, not do it when the time comes. Right, here we go. I don't know how long they said this was going to be, maybe 20 minutes Hello or something? Everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon Presents, we will be sharing information on several of our games, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Do you guys think Pokemon but Sleep is going to happen? <laughs> I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK this year from August 18th to August 21st. Oh, so that's why there's a UK version of this. Please okay. have a look at this video. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm delighted to share with you updates on our annual Pokemon World Championships. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pikachu Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokémon tournament deluxe events. Many players People have long play journeys Pokemon? earning their invitation huh. over several years, and we are thrilled to learn who will earn the title of world champion in 2022. This year, we are also adding many new elements to the show, beginning with two new Pokemon titles. Please join me in welcoming Pokemon Go, where nearly 100 Wait, players will compete across two age divisions, and Pokemon Unite, <laughs> Excuse where 16 me? teams from 11 regions will compete. I mean, this These one makes sense, but Pokemon Go? For their shot to earn the title of the very first world champion in these new categories. We also have a few surprises in store for fans attending in person, including our largest ever Pokemon Center World's Pop-Up Shop. For those unable to attend in person, you can follow all the action I like from the wherever London you are on our design. dedicated live streams for each product, including coverage of every championship match for each age division. So I don't know what Pokemon the other streams are showing right now. I'm assuming the US one is just talking about like the US the Pokemon championship, championship inspire scene. many new players to make new friends through battling. I don't know why I would love the UK thing. version of this, it's to be honor honest. to unveil for fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu Trophy. Take a look. Please take a look. This fucking music, is this going to get me content claims? There he is. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in London, and now I would like to hand it back to Mr. Utsunomiya.
Okay, time for game announcements. Let's go. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. Now here's Pokemon Cafe Mix. For the first time in three years, we held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event. Oh, the Ultra Beasts are in Go now. And these Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale event. It will be held on August 27th. The finale is a global event that can be enjoyed by trainers wherever they are in the world. Trainers will be able to encounter Pokémon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokémon Shaman by completing special research. Will you be able to help Re contend with the Ultra Beasts? And what has become of Professor Willow who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? Stay tuned for the story's conclusion. Additionally, All right. Daily Adventure Incense has been added to the game. It's a special incense that can be used once a day and lasts for 15 minutes. It can attract Pokémon not normally seen in your area, and rumors say it might even attract legendary Pokémon. Use Daily Adventure Incense for a 15-minute adventure I like how they day. say that, and they like use sound the effects, but they years, never actually Pokemon show what legendary Pokémon you could possibly Pokemon run into. Go. There are now over 700 Pokemon you can register to the Pokedex. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon Go Fest or having heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships, the entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started. Pokemon Unite, the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Oh, this game's Pokemon been out for a full year now? Okay. To grow and evolve since its release one year ago. In celebration of its first anniversary, we're adding not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. I don't have much to say about this one. Like, I'm not really into, you know, battle, those Pika sort of Party games. Will begin today, August Pika 3rd. Party. Just a million Pikachus. In this special type of quick battle in celebration of our first anniversary, all Pokemon on the field, both wild and players, are Pikachu. Oh my god. Gigantamax, like, fucking Pikachu. <laughs> Additionally, right. Buzzwool will be joining Unite Battles starting today. I, I still love the name of this fucking Buzzwool Pokemon, it's so dumb. Buzzwool that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. Run amok in battle with Buzzwool's ability, Beast Boost which temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokémon. This first anniversary is just the start of what's to come in Pokémon Unite. We're planning more events Can you for guys heal this just well, fine? Yeah. So please stay tuned. And we're gifting Unite licenses that in Halloween. That fucking Tyranitar there with a the top hat with the fuck. Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in So does this game still have cosmetics that cost up to $40? Like, is that still a thing? Like, that's what I heard about it, like, a year ago. Is this Scarlet and Violet? Oh. It's red. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this game. You know, I still haven't played Masters. Hey. Mm -hmm. Like, the only mobile Pokemon game I've ever played is, like, Go. Details coming soon. Oh, hi, Mewtwo. What, what was that voice? What's this? Looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon oh, no. Cafe Remix game. I was joking. I didn't think hungry. Pokemon Cafe Mix was still happening. Make delicious drinks and dishes with your cafe staff to treat Mewtwo to a wonderful time. 
Once you make a lot of delicious drinks and dishes in one minute cooking to fill Mewtwo up, it can join your staff. Like, maybe this game is decent? I don't know. I, d I don't really care. Like, I feel like this is a joke game, Here to be honest. Here are some hints on how to play the one minute cooking puzzle mode to satisfy Mewtwo. Tip 1. Gather great staff. Mewtwo likes to order small plates, so gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five-star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias are good at those orders. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokémon staff level. Go to the Pokémon menu to start raising their staff level by training them. Once your great staff is up to the challenge, it's time to begin one minute cooking. On to the second tip. Just keep on mixing as much as you can. Okay, Once when do we get to the actual games? Cooking, Keep on mixing the Pokemon I mean, I'll give them this. At least they'll start with the mobile games Use so we can get to the good stuff at the end. And, dishes, and you should be able to satisfy Mewtwo. We hope you'll give one minute cooking a try. And there's more. Following Latias, who just appeared today, Latios will also appear in the future. Wait, there's even more. We have a special but campaign wait, I'm not done starting yet. today. This is your chance to get Victini and Latias on your staff. Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Nintendo Switch I'm systems honestly surprised that Pokemon devices. Cafe Remix is still around. Okay, here's Scarlet and Violet. I don't think we're going to see the evolutions of these starters. I think they're going to wait until later to show those. Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I'm really looking forward to this game. This one looks like it's going to be great. So I've been hearing some quote-unquote rumors and leaks about this game. Apparently you can go to gyms in any order, Attention, but they please. don't scale the levels, Today which is a weird idea. We the treasure hut. Travel across Paldea. Paldea is the name of the region. Get to know the region. Oh, I see. Your legendaries are your method of, like, traveling. I like how they just turn into bikes. They turn into bikes, but they can also fly. I mean, visually, this game does look better than Pokemon Legends Arceus. And the people. But I wouldn't be surprised if the frame rate of Pokemon that are like five feet in front of you Where still are go? like, you know, two frames per second. But hey, as long as the game is good. Who will you meet? What will you achieve? With you will be your Pokemon. Journey together. I think I'm going to pick Quaxley uh, when Learn I play this. Together. Together. Find something to treasure. What the fuck? Okay, I'm guessing this is the game's combat mechanic that they're going to be doing. You can crystallize your Pokémon. So, what does this do to your attacks? Let the treasure hunt begin. Interesting. So, they give us a little idea of what that could be, so... We're now starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented, so let's take a closer look together, shall we? So yeah, the new region's called Paldea region, so I'm guessing Pokémon from that region The newest titles in like the Pokémon series forms. are the Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet games. These titles will be open-world RPGs, a first for the Pokémon series. 
sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. Right, so now we're gonna see These a little are the bit more detail Pokemon, on this. Coridon and Miridon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb on! And together <laughs> you'll dash across grassy fields. This is so silly looking. Move across water and glide through the sky. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the region with them. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Three grand stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll oh. go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. In right. these games, so there's multiple there is stories. no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart your very own course along Victory Road. So wait, did they mention that you can like tackle the gems in any order? The other two in... stories you'll experience well, scale? hold That's many what I surprises want to know. and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. Well, that is kind of cool that there's like three different stories you can tackle at any time, so you can like bounce back and forth Professor between Sada them for variety. And Professor Churro. Research legends passed on Sada in the Paldea Churro. region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. I could go for a Churro right and now. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher, who teaches biology. Jack. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. And Rival. you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. There are gym leaders, too, like Grusha, the ice-type gym leader. Okay, the so one of the gym leaders are ice-type are type sure in to one. enrich your adventures. Many different species of Pokémon also call the Paldea region home. This Pokémon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. Oh. It lives on the land and it's like covers a fucking its body with a poisonous thing film. With a mud texture. Fido are delightfully squishy Pokémon that are smooth to the touch. And here's Satitan, which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Of course, we also have the Pokémon from which you'll choose your first partner. Again, Quaxley is going to be mine. Fuecoco, and Quaxley. Enjoy needing lots of Pokémon, and complete your Pokédex as part of your adventure. All right, multiple features. By using the Union Circle. You can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. You can go look for Pokémon you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. I do like the idea of online co-op. Right, the so here's the gimmick of this game. Makes Pokemon shine like gems. Interesting. I'm wondering how this is going to play into combat. All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. Some Pokémon will change type when they terastalize. Oh. <laughs> what type Flying they Pikachu. become seems to depend on that Pokémon's Terra type. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. We hope you'll try to catch Pokémon with rare Terra types. Raid battles Pokemon are Pokémon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing raid battles. 
You can challenge Terra Pokémon in these battles with up to three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. I'm glad to see that raid battles from Sword and Shield are coming Try back. Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these That was battles. like one of Sword and Shield's best features. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokémon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. So yeah, game looks great so far. I'm really excited for this one. And it's only a few We've short months kept away. all the things you love about Pokémon, while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. The Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. All right. Your independent study in the Paldea region begins in three months. Again, not that far away. Your enrollment. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. All right, well, there you go. That was the presentation. So uh, let's get rid of that. So yeah, um, I would say overall that was an okay presentation. I mean, most of it was just like, oh, here's like the lesser Pokemon games, like, updates on them that you might be interested in, even though I'm not really interested in most of those games, like Cafe Mix, like, I don't know, probably not for me. Same for Pokemon Unite. But at least they ended strong with, like, a really good breakdown of, like, the features that you're going to be seeing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Game looks really fucking good. Like, the more I see that game, the more I want to play it. So I'm really happy about that. It looks like it's shaping up to be, you know, a really good Generation 9 Pokemon game. So, I love the idea that your legendary Pokemon in this game are not something you see, like, at the very end of the game. Like, you actually get them at the start, it seems like, for, like, you know, exploring. Or at least I think that's how, like, it seems like that's how it's going to work. Or at least you get them, like, earlier than, like, near the end of the story. I'm not really sure how that works, actually. Maybe, maybe you do get it, like, near the end of the game, but it's neat that you get something that, like, lets you explore a bit more easily. Yeah, now that I think about it, that actually probably would be near the end of the game, wouldn't it? It'd be kind of like, you know, the Braviary and, like, fucking Legends, where it's like, okay, now you can fly anywhere, so... Nonetheless, I do like that your legendary Pokémon is just a means of, like, travelling. In this game, like, it's essentially just an all-terrain vehicle. Which is both silly and also, like, creative, I guess. And the, the, te the what was it, the terraforming, te terrestrializing? I, I forgot the, te the term for it, but basically turning your Pokémon into crystals to, like, buff their attacks, but it can also change uh, their typage. Not the biggest gimmick in the world, but you know what, it's it's fine for what it is. I'm not really too bothered about that. I could see it bringing up some interesting things, like you're, you're weak to something, but you know that your, like, crystal form of that Pokemon will have the advantage. So, yeah, I guess there could be a little bit of strategy in there. How often you can crystallize your Pokemon, I'm not sure. Maybe you can do it, like, once per battle. Maybe you can do it as many times as you want. They didn't really say anything about that. I guess we're going to find out about that later. So, that's pretty much all there is to say on that. Um, three different stories. So you have the gyms, like the typical gym story, and then you have like two other narratives that you can follow. I like that. For an open world game, that makes a ton of sense to like do that. So you have like, you know, multiple like long quest lines that you can work towards as you reach the end of the game. So I'm really excited to like maybe like jump back and forth between that, like maybe do like a gym and then like do a little bit of like another story. Like that's that's gonna be fun. My only concern with like the Pokemon gyms is like one, can you tackle the gyms in any order? And if you can, two, 
will the gym scale depending on which ones you do? So that's the more important question. Like, they didn't say anything about that. They said, I think they implied that you could tackle gyms in different orders, but not necessarily if they would scale accordingly. Because that would be kind of sucky if they didn't scale. If you don't know what I mean, basically, you could do gyms and they would, like, you know, change the levels of the Pokemon in that gym, so it would be according to your level, if that makes sense. I'm not really sure how they're going to work about that, so that's something that still needs to be seen. But nonetheless, I'm still excited for the game. I think it's going to be great. So, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so I think I'm going to end it here. So, thank you guys for watching. I will be streaming a game later today. I'm going to be streaming Mario Kart because I think the DLC drops later tonight. At least I think it will. I've been told that it's going to be releasing at midnight for, like, the region that you're in. So, for me, it's going to be at midnight my time. I may possibly stream a game before that as well, like, do a, a game, like, a couple hours beforehand. And then end with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Wave 2 DLC. So that'll be my plans for later today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play, uh, watch this. And I will see you later tonight. Take care.